This video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu University. This Sunday, July, I believe 26, 6 p.m., we're gonna have a webinar, how to turn an established LLC into an S-Corp holding company. There are many of you who have come to me and like, hey, you know, can I turn my established LLC into a holding company? And the answer is yes, you can but there is a certain format, a certain level of sequences that you must go through to properly do this. All of this will be addressed and you can go ahead and uh, participate, the, participate in the webinar hitting the link below. So with that, let's get to the video. What's up? Let's talk about how to turn your side hustle into your main gig when you have a job there are many people who want to start a business but you got bills you need to eat you got to put gas in your car and these are very real problems however i'm about to give you a blueprint in a pathway to turn your hustle into your main gig first thing you need is a written plan i know everybody's like hey i got it you know you're trying to do that your mind that that won't cut it so you need a written plan and you need to change your mindset. And what do I mean by that? First of all, you have a job that you may or may not want to leave as soon as possible. And you have this ambition of turning your side hustle into your main source of income. This is going to take some mental preparation. And the mental preparation is you're no longer normal. You're not going on vacation. You're not going to be partying on the weekends. These precious hours of freedom will be going to liberating you for your job. So a written plan and a mindset adjustment. You got to have a mindset. I'm going to get customers. People want to do business with me. This has to be your mindset. Number, you know, the, the third thing you got to do it's work like a demon. You gotta work in a no distraction zone because I had a friend who started a side business and he remained <laughs> normal in many regards. He remained normal in terms of living his life. He remained normal in terms of going on vacation with the family he remained normal with, you know, he did his work hours and at night when he was working on his business, if he got tired, he just stopped. And it took him seven years for that business to get halfway re respectable. Because I was like, dude, you know, you, you, you're doing a good thing, but you, you got to do it a little bit cleaner. And he still wasn't able to quit his job respectable. I think his seventh year, he did $30,000, which... That money went back into the family fund and they took vacations with it. So he did not earmark this money for growth, future growth of his enterprise. Seven years. Typically, if you follow what I'm talking about, you have a written plan, you have a mental adjustment. You don't waste time doing normal people stuff. Just saying that if you do what most people won't do, you can live like most people don't live. It's very true. When I was working the storage auction business, I didn't go out on Friday nights. There's just allowances you make to get the things that you want. Part of turning the side business into your full-time gig will take a lot of work and a lot of self-sacrifice. You know, if you got a wedding to go to or there's a family reunion, go. These things don't happen every weekend. One weekend is not going to derail your business. You know, one weekend out of six months, or what, you know, that's not going to do anything to you. And you probably need to break. But you got to bust. You got to turn this into a mission. Mission, like, you know, I did Scheme Incorporated. That's how I got the job at Renegrate. You got to be like thinking like that. You've got to have your marching orders your written plan, your manifesto, 
and you got to be on it because another thing you have to do with your side business is put that money back into the company. You can't live on that. And this is one of the fallacies that I see with many operators starting small businesses, that money becomes lifestyle. It doesn't get reinvested in employees. It doesn't get reinvested in growing the company or marketing. It goes straight to the owner's pocket, therefore keeping the company small. At, you, you shouldn't be spending any of this money from your, your side hustle until you know you get enough money in the bank where you could continue to grow the side hustle and you know take a little money off the top. And this is why you have a job. So, so I suggest that everyone takes this course, the money management course, before you get into your side hustle. Because once you get a part of this course, it will teach you how to allocate money, set up your five checking accounts, and manage your money very well before you get into your side hustle business. Because let's talk about money. You should have a plan for your money. And also, let's talk about prep for your side business. Too many of y'all have way too much debt. You got a mortgage, you got a car note, you got 20, 30, 40, 50K credit card bills. That's going to impede the growth of your side business. And some people will start a side business to provide extra income to create money to pay off this debt. And, you know, that's a hustle. And you've got to do what you got to do, but you should be as lean and clean as possible when you start your side hustle. And this is part of my frustration with a lot of people who send me questions. I'm already in a house that's on fire. How can I get some more water to put out this fire? And the water you need is money. So you, you got to stop making bad decisions. And, you know, this is maybe very unpopular, but you shouldn't be having no kids if you ain't married. And you shouldn't be having no kids unless you got money. Because I have seen dudes, I know of a dude, he had $50,000 in the bank, wasn't married, had no kids. Clean. Came back to the States, messed around, got a woman pregnant, completely took him off the path. So you got to understand when a woman gets pregnant, she's very vulnerable and she's looking at you to fend off those dragons. So ideally you should 16 start looking at your life. You should have a lot of experiences, but you should be preparing for this moment that in case you do get a chick pregnant and y'all have a kid that this doesn't take you off your life path. There are many people who were in college, had to drop out of college, had to completely re-alter alter their whole life because someone got pregnant. So when I, when I say to you guys who are already in a house that's on fire, you're going to have to bust to put that fire out. Because, you know, one of the things I, I, I put it out here all the time, that every man needs the Hustlers LLC holding company, operating company with all, all the stuff set up. And many of you don't come to me until your house is on fire. She's already got two kids, you know, and let's talk about child support. This is what I did when I had, was on child support order. I made more money. Do not get caught up in this trap of making less money and downgrading your economic ability because typically most of us have kids also during our most productive income years. And if you go ahead and stall out on your income because you don't want to pay her child support versus coming up with a solution where you can make more money and your child support order does not go up, you, you're, you're screwing yourself. 
because you're going to make less money and this is going to pop up in your social security. This is going to pop up in the way that you live. And I'm speaking boldly to you guys because look, you already had the kids. You already went to child support court. You already in the system there, unless you're willing to fight this woman for that kid they spend more time with that kid, which would be a good thing. You ain't getting out of it. It just ain't happening. So prevention and preparation, I'm speaking to all my guys who have no children. Start working on this stuff now. Don't wait until she like, I'm pregnant. And then you start scrambling. It, it just, like I said, I, I've seen so many times that a young man, you clean, you don't have any kids, you good, then you go ahead and that happens and your whole life changes. And instead of having extra money, you paying child support. And now you mad because you may not be getting along with this woman and y'all got a kid together. And this is a whole nother pocket full of confusion and animosity and stuff. So if, listen to me, listen to me right now. If before you start your side hustle and you have no kids, make sure that you set up the Hustlers LLC. Links below. Go ahead and get that. Set up your holding company, set up your articles of organization and create these assets before you enter into harm's way. So that, that's a little sideways, because I have to get this conversation, because, you know, invariably, I'll get someone. Yo, Glenn. Yo, man. Yeah, you know, I got three kids. My child supports about 1800 bucks a month. What can I do? Make more money. That's what you got to do. Or you get your kids, which will interfere with you making more money, more than likely. It's a very hard thing to do. But when I was on child support, this is what created the hustler's kung fu mindset. I got in the storage auction business. I had my LLC and she was ever able she was never able to increase her support order. Legally went to court. Bam, here's my PL. Bam, bam, bam. Oh well, there will be no increase in child support. But you gotta go ahead and set this stuff up. So another thing to help you with getting the right attitude, the right mindset is go below, get the free audio book to improve your mindset and get on this pathway of taking courses so you can start your side business where at, in the future, it becomes your main business. And another thing you gotta do, you gotta pick right. Many people start businesses off of passion. This is my passion. This is don't start a business off passion. Start a business that fills a need, provides a service, and makes some money. Because if you like want to start this esoteric business, chances are it's going to take a long time for it to reach monetary fruition. And I mean, you can start a service business and within two or three years be making six to seven figures. I've seen many people start a janitorial service or a home cleaning service and scale up to a million dollars very quickly. So once again, be practical with your, your business because I guarantee you, now also this isn't about starting a business, just going for the money. Make sure that you're determined, make sure that you have high interest in this business because I guarantee you once the money starts coming in, once it starts working, you become very passionate about that and you become very focused about that because everybody likes making money. Once the money starts coming in, that's a game changer. And also for those of you who are navigating your job and your side business, your life's going to change. You're not going to be able to be out here partying on the weekends. Weekends are production time, getting busy time, work time, making money time. You know, you may take a day off on a Saturday once a month and do something, but you ain't just, because you know, I, I watch these videos of all these people who just, 
don't seem to have any purpose. They just kind of hanging around each other. And it's interesting how people like that. And I begin to understand that successful people scare the bejesus out of average non-successful people because that successful person is a mirror. Because we all, all of us only have 24 hours a day. Nobody gets 28, nobody gets 32. And the successful people may get more per hour than the non-successful people. And when they show up and you looking at them, they look like a big old mirror because it's just like, man, I could have been doing that. So understand to prep yourself accordingly for your side business, you just got to have it in your mind that you're not going to have much of a fun life for two to three years because you got a job, man. And you're working on this business, man. And you want to make it something positive, man. And there's too many of you out here faking the funk and playing games. Like my friend, was seven years, got the 30,000. And then uh, he and his wife got divorced. And he entered child support. She, you know, he had a good job. So he was paying about 2,800 a month. And, you know, he was like, lost his house. And he got angry. He got very, very angry. And he came to me and I was like, he's like, I'm angry. I said, good. Focus that anger. Use that anger on your, as your new Kung Fu. Your hustler's Kung Fu. He got real mad. All of a sudden, that side business that was making 30000 a month, 30000 a year, Start doing fifteen, eighteen thousand dollars per month within eighteen months because he got angry. Really, he got focused. All the color, all the clutter, and the BS all got cut out because I told him, I said, "Look, you know, if you want to live a good life, you're gonna have to bust out." And he got up to eighteen k per month and still had his job. And I said, "Don't leave your job no time soon because that's where your support order comes out. And once you start changing up stuff." You know, people started looking because his wife, she wasn't no dummy. And she inquired. She's like, so how's your business? He said, it's still the same. Because, you know, guys who, who are in this child support uh, drama, keep your mouth shut. Don't stunt on social media. Because uh, when things got nice, he got him a new Mercedes. And this was really before social media. And, you know, he went to get his kids in a new Mercedes. She went back to court two months later for uh, uh, a, 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 an increase in child support order. And he's like, man, she, she taking me back to court. She want more money. She already getting $2,800 a month. And I said, this is what you do. He listened to me. He started listening to me. And he walked out of court without an increase in his child support order. Because see, fellas, this is what you got to do. The converse is to make less money and to tamp down. Wrong answer. What you got to do is make way more money. You got to make so much money, it don't matter. Because uh, I think when he got to the point of quitting his job, his business was doing about $38,000 a month. With a good, healthy profit margin. With that $2,800, he didn't feel it. And that's where you want to be. Because once again, if you had listened to me and you had set up your Hustlers LLC and your holding company and your articles or organization and you got this chick on a contract, you wouldn't be going through this. But most of you like, she look good. She made me feel so good when I put my dangling in there. Woo! That's my baby. If your baby, she'll become a barracuda once you separate. She could become your worst enemy. That woman you laid down, had children with. So this is the whole thing of elevating the side business and putting on the appropriate mental. Having yourself set up for success. So for those of you who are interested into accelerating this process, being able to make a go of it, 
get ready for this commercial, watch it and see how this can help you begin to change your life. Because essentially there's many businesses you can start without a lot of money that can turn into million dollar businesses with enough time and effort. It won't be overnight, but this can be done. Once again, just like I had mentors just call me your, you know, Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. I will set you on the right path, but you got to do the work. You got to get off your butt. You got to get busy and you got to be dedicated because you need a written plan. You need to execute every day and you need to get your money straight. And you need to learn how to manage your money. Then even if you own child support, life can be golden. I want you to think about it. What would it look like? What would your life be like? If you had $50,000, $100,000. Cause I don't recommend keeping millions of dollars in the bank. Cause you know, money just sitting around loses money. I, I recommend that once, you know, you keep 50 to maybe a hundred K in the bank and anything above that should be invested in the market you know, in some type of investment, making you money. But how would you, how would you feel that you didn't have no bills? Your car was paid for, you pay your credit cards off every month. And anytime you want to take a vacation or something, you got the money. It's just a matter of finding the time. You get whatever you want. You live how you want. You dress how you want. You have your family set up in a really nice situation. Ask yourself how that would feel to never have to borrow money from anyone ever else ever again. I'm, I haven't borrowed money from, I can't remember the last time I borrowed money from a friend. And I, I do remember from business, like I, I have a business loan right now that they offered me and I just took it and I'm paying them back with their own money. So essentially, what would it feel like if you were the boss of your life? You had your own economy. You were making money. What would that feel like? What would that look like? You wake up. You ain't mad because you got to go to this job you hate. What would it feel like to get up every day and be excited and energized because you're doing your own thing? What does that look like? So if you want to experience that and get ready, Let's roll this wonderful commercial footage. Today, business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel, they'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned when I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see, let me go ahead and get that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway 
because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you'll do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money, well, you're not going to manage a lot of money. Well, it's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learn how to compartmentalize, how to do the five checking account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. Now, I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked the a console because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're gonna go to the third course, becoming the boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. And one of the things that I've done is I priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, Hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right, this is what you're gonna get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course. Uh, the Power of Six Productivity Course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's gonna be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done how to, what's the priority, what's not priority. This course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you would get scripted days. This is a life changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits it will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual, a lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days for 2500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had a a business or be a superior mindset the foundational courses will give you the superior mindset let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start this next section is for you typically business success comes from practicing business skills one of the best ways to do that is by reselling you got to get your feet wet this is where you will start with the reselling courses uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resale. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. 
It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead. You know, if you have a business owner, if you go through because 30 days to 2500 is a long course, it's going to take you about two months to go through it. But it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff that's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2500 and if i had been thinking i would have did this like way sooner but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business it's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared it's just a process it's going to take them a little time to you know like you got kids all kids don't learn at the same rate you got some kids who learn slower and but they can still get there and essentially this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses they will help you get your mind right this will help you get your mind right the dsl chronicles hell yeah they ain't gonna buy people i mean seriously i i, I pretty much ignore those folks because i've been down that path before typically the people who are like i want this course i want this course i want this course and who want to talk to me uh the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do this like well if glendon thinks this is cool no you you need to give yourself permission you need to validate yourself you need to um believe in yourself Mike Elliott. This ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting a generator wouldn't start for our mobile watch but we strung together made a hundred bucks for a few hours see once you go through this transformation once you get that first good sale that first load of money it becomes addictive it becomes very addictive now what i'm gonna do for the you know starting next week there's gonna be a lot of new training 
so i'm going to do a video probably sunday or monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that now if you have never started a business this stuff is good for you especially 30 days to 2500 and the money management course i've heard, got a lot of feedback from that people like it it has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing if you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now it's the money's just you're not going to get the best use of the money you you need to learn how to hold on the money and this is what the course teaches you so you know next week we will get into um the, the new stuff but the new stuff will build on this it won't be the same information it'll be new information and more of it for business owners i don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2500 and asking for the sale those are the only courses for business owners uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff uh, beginning business person so once again just go ahead you know if you're brand new to the channel you just found this welcome thank you appreciate you um, this is what we're going to do Michael Gardner so it's true this guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15k and spent it all people that thirst you know that 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 thirst is a big big problem that build up thirst of you wanting stuff you want to live a certain lifestyle once again the money management course will help you with that let's see where we are cool because what on this is going to be a very short live stream because i'm going to take it down and i'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos so people who are coming into the fold you know the new folks because got a lot of new folks i get you know emails and stuff like hey glennon man i'm really excited i like what you're saying but where do i start this is where you start okay so all of the information is below you can start with your first five foundational courses then start going wild on the other stuff and very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.